Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jovi, and today is um, our reading of uh, January 14th. I'm going to be reading each day a new beginning. So I'm grateful that you're here with me. And um, I need it today. And I started reading on this channel and I continued doing so, so that I can read. Because it's really hard for me to sit down and just be present. I don't know if you can relate to that. And so that's where, where and why I started doing this. So, all right, so here we go. January 14th starts off with a quote by Viola Spolin. In a culture where approval, disapproval has become the predominant regulator of effort and position, and often the substitute for love, our personal freedoms are dissipated. Wanting others to approve our efforts, wanting others to approve our appearance, our aspirations and behavior is perfectly normal, certainly not healthy. However, needing the approval in order to proceed with our lives is. In early childhood, we were taught to obey others and to please them. We confuse love with approval and we begin to march to someone else's drum. Then we get even more approval. But soon we get out of step with ourselves. We neglect our personal needs and become puppets. Giving away our power to the whims of others weakens our spirit. Personal freedom means choosing our own behavior. It means acting rather than reacting. It also means allowing ourselves the full adventure of living, of meaning each moment wholly, meeting those moments, of responding in a pure, spontaneous, personal, personally honest manner. Only then can we give life to what is ours to give. Each of us has a unique part to play in the drama of life, and we need to rely on our higher power for our cues, not on those whose approval we think we need. When we turn within for guidance, all the approval we could hope for will be ours. I will be free today. I will let no one control my actions. I will let God, my higher power, give me the only approval that counts, aligning my will with God's will, guarantees it. So, What's coming up for you with this? Let's see. Then for me, yeah, the approval thing, uh, people pleasing. Um, because I want to fit in, because I can read the room growing up in that um, in that type of atmosphere so that I can um, get my needs met, at least, you know, getting the attention I want or getting some type of acknowledgement or finding a tribe, you know, like, okay, yes, I agree with you. Yes, I agree with you. Like, what do I even, what are, what are my values? And that gets, that can get lost in that people pleasing and um, learning how to be honest. Like, what do I like? Like when I first started, like the self-discovery, I was like, I don't even really know what I like, because I would try all these different things and then start to um, enmesh with the people that I'm with. So um, so I think it's great to, um, to be able to understand in a different way, like open your mind to a new perspective of um, not confusing love with approval. You know, having that deep, um, for me, learning to connect with my spirit, with my higher power every day, um, in the morning and at night, it's really, it's vital for, for me in my recovery. And so that I can find 
true joy in my life. I'm like, okay, I know what I like. And I'm okay with that. And, you know, that isn't okay for me today, or this is okay for me today. Hi, sweetheart. And only then can we give life what is ours to give. So um, I've also heard where you can't give something that you don't have. So self-love is important so that I know and I, I can feel compassion for others because I'm feeling um, and understanding having compassion for myself as well. So then I understand what that is instead of like, oh, I feel bad for them or, oh, this, you know, it's like working on that. And um and um, you will be free today. And even if you don't understand what this is, even if you do, you know, um, what, what can, what, like, how can we change for the better uh, each moment of every day? And um, so what else? Um, needing approval. Like if I waited for approval to um, start doing something, uh, which I have a lot, like, oh, I don't know if someone will like if I do that, or like, I'll take votes, right? Can you, you like, I'll take votes to see like, should I do this or should I do that? Um, because I wanna get along with, with my group. And that's, you know, it's important to give them um, a consider, right? But it, it, um, it shouldn't lead what I do because my being, my guidance should be from my spirit. So um, you know, I can gradually change my personality for the better by having that uncritical uh, and tolerant awareness of myself and others. So then I can go, okay, well, that's good for you. And, or not even say that, you know, like I can just be, you know, me. And um, giving away our power to the whims of others weakens our spirit. Like um, being in a relationship that doesn't align with your values. So therefore giving away your power to the whims of others. Like for instance, if, if someone's that you're with, they're like, oh, well, let's rob a bank. And you're like, well, I don't think that's a good idea. And they're like, just get in the car, let's go. And you know, then you're kind of, that's not a, obviously that's a, that's a very dramatic point, but um, it happens in other ways. So um, that, that will weaken our spirit because we're like, well, you know, there's when you have like, well, I don't know, maybe, you know, if if you're doing it, then it's not so bad. Like that's weakening your spirit because you, that's not your um, that's not your rule of how you want to live your life. So, you know, be careful of people, places, and things in your life. Of course, so I I keep that in mind for myself, and um, I will let no one control my actions. I will let God give the only approval that counts. Aligning my will with God's will guarantees it. So the prayers are really important. We'll go ahead and stop here. I want to hear what you think. Thumbs up for um, for the for people to be able to find us as well. That helps. And um, what else? Uh, we'll go ahead and say the third step prayer. And um, like to hear your comments and. Um, also, I'm um, letting you know that I'm available. I've been opening my books uh, for the end of January for some readings and um, some tarot readings and some astrology readings. I, I'll, I'll make personal videos for you. So if you're interested in any of those, just um, take a look at the description box in my emails there. So we'll have a conversation about that, okay, if you're interested. So we'll go ahead and here we go. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondages of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so that victory over them bear witness to those I would help. With thy power, love, and way of life, may I do thy will always. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I can't change 
to have the courage to change the things I can and wisdom to know the difference. So God's will, not mine be done. Keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it and you are loved. The universe has your back and um, I will see you God willing tomorrow with another reading from each day, a new beginning book. And um, there are many other readings on this channel as well. If you're not familiar with it, if this is your first time here, hello. Um, so there's of course of miracles. There are many different other readings uh, full on here. Courage to change as well. So um, you just take a look in the uh, main page of this channel and um, in the search button, just put in a date or a book that you're looking for and um, it'll come up. So much love and I'll see you soon.